Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to detect parking lot, free space and occupied space using YOLO object detection. So before we move to our practical friends, if you learn something from our videos, please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends, thank you so much and let's get started. So friends, as I mentioned, today we will detect a parking lot area free space and occupied space so i will mention project folder link inside description box simply simply you have to download the project folder and parking space zip this is what the project folder name parking space zip right click and then just click on extract all click on extract it will extract our project folder as a normal folder go inside the folder and let me first open the video file uh, this is basically a time lapse video where we have as you can see a uh, day and night scenario day and night cctv recording where we have parking lot area we have some free space we have some occupied space and we will use here yolo object detection the hardcore object detection for detecting the vehicle the car and because we have object detection so there is no matter whether it is day or night we will detect our vehicles we will detect the car simple so this is basically our video file as you can see as simple as this is the day scenario and then again we have here night scenario simple so let's just open main.py we will use here YOLO V8 S.PT model. We will use YOLO V8 S. You can go with YOLO V10, 11, 12, whatever you want. Okay. The code will remain same. You have to simply change the model. But I will use here YOLO V8 S.PT because uh, I have already used here YOLO 12 S. But if I use YOLO V8, it will detect more perfect uh, the cars or let's just say the vehicles simple so for that i have used your yellow v8 s model you can create your own model also you can train the video file and you can create your own model also but right now i will go with the by default model which is yellow v8 s so first let's just install the packages so go to the tools manage packages this is the sony python ide you can simply search for Tony Python IDE inside the web browser, download the Python IDE and install the Tony Python IDE on your Windows machine. So go to the tools and manage packages. We will search for OpenCV-Python, OpenCV-Python, first package, click on install button, done, it will install OpenCV-Python. As you can see, there is an upgrade button, so let's just upgrade the package because I have already installed OpenCV we will simply click on upgrade and it will upgrade the package so let's just wait for upgradation so we successfully upgrade OpenCV-Python now we will go for Ultralytics package so Ultralytics Ultralytics hit enter first package click on install button there is an upgrade button so let me upgrade the Ultralytix also i will click on upgrade button and it will upgrade the Ultralytix package with latest updation done as you can see i have upgraded the Ultralytix also now we need cv zone package cv zone hit enter let me search for cv zone cv zone hit enter first package click on install button done it will install cv zone so this is how we need open cv hyphen python we need ultralytics and we need cv zone packages which we done now as i mentioned we will use yellow v8 as dot pt model this is the video file name inside inside our project folder we have video file and then now we will start our code so first we will go with the uh, we will go basically uh, manually we will skip the frame we will not uh, start basically the while loop because we want to draw the area on the parking lot space simple 
So for that I have mentioned cv2 dot weight is 0. So 0 will freeze the frame. We want to skip the frame one by one manually. We will press a keyboard space button. So let's just run the code. First it will download our YOLO v8s.pt model. As you can see it's now downloading. And friends as you can see there is a numpy error. There is a numpy error. No worry what we will do. We will simply upgrade the numpy package because uh, we have we upgraded the OpenCV also also we upgraded the Ultralytics so I think we need to upgrade the NumPy version also. So again we will go in the tools manage packages and we will search for NumPy NumPy hit enter as you can see the first package and here it is as you can see there is a upgrade uh, highlighted so we want to upgrade the NumPy package so let me upgrade the NumPy package also so I will click on upgrade and we will wait. So done we upgrade uh, the numpy package from here for Tony Python ID. Now let's just uh, test it. I will run code again. So friends as you can see there is a still error. So what I will do I will stop the code and I will go in tools again manage packages and let's just search for ultra ultralytics ultralytics and we will simply search for ultralytics and i will uninstall ultralytics and then again i will install ultralytics so let's hope we will solve the error so i have uninstalled ultralytics and then i will again install ultralytics so friends i have again installed ultralytics fresh so let's just hope that we solve the error so if i run the code so friends as you can see there is a still numpy error so what we can do let's just try another way so i will go inside the tools open system shell and we will simply go uh, back means we will use uh, here a previous version so i will go with pip install numpy 1.24.4 version so what I have done here, I have go inside tools, open system shell and then just install this NumPy version which is NumPy 1.24.4 and if I hit enter, as you can see now it's installing 1.24.4 NumPy version. And it's uninstalling NumPy. Uh, numpy 2.26 as you can see numpy 2.26 successfully uninstalled done now if I run again the package which is numpy 1.24.4 requirement is already satisfied means we successfully install our particular version which is the numpy 1.24.4 now let's just try if I run the code and as you can see now there is no error means uh, now for ultra takes we need a numpy numpy 1.24.4 version numpy 1.24.4 version simple so now as you can see there is no error so now we can continue our tutorial so what we will do as I mentioned this is our video file so now we want to draw the area we want to draw the polygon on each area so for that what we will do we, we want to simply move our cursor where we want to start our point so let's just say this is what my first point of course so just move the mouse cursor over there and then left click and press space button you will see this kind of red point which is the first point then again go for second point left click press space button go here left click press space button go here left click press space button when the four point complete it will draw the polygon simple this is the fundamental so again for second second area go here first point press mouse left key press space button 
press space button here left key press space button here also same way when we completed the four point it will draw the polygon automatically so this is how i will draw the polygon on each space so friends i have draw the polygon now if you stop if you stop the code what it will happen it will save all the points inside our project folder and inside project folder it will save the points inside polygons.json file inside polygons.json file it will save all the points which we already draw so now if i run the code it will already show it will show the points which we already draw as you can see there is already draw points now let's just say i want to remove this point simply press r button from the keyboard it will delete the most last point so the most last point is this one which we draw so if you want to delete the area just press r button from the keyboard so now again i will same way the left click mouse button press space button left click mouse button press space button so friends as you can see i have draw the polygon on each area now the concept is really simple we draw the polygon area we have now polygon now this is the area and we have our object detection though so with the help of object detection we will detect here a car we will detect the car class we will detect the car class so when we detect the car class we have here cx and cy the detected object rectangle center point so we will use here c2 dot point polygon test method which mention where the detected object center point if it is inside the area it will it will show that there is a some object there is object and if there is no center point inside the area it means of course there is a free space this is the condition for that we mention here this condition simple so this is how friends with the help of this code you can simply count free space and occupied space so right now we have occupied one means there is a one car and there is a 11 free space available 11 free space available so the total zone means the total space is basically length of polygons how many polygon do we have how many polygon do we have it is basically the total zone total zone and the free zone the free zone is basically the total zone minus occupied zones occupied zone means how many how many center point do we have so occupied zones as you can see occupied zones plus is equal to 1 means when we match our condition what is our condition our condition is if the detected object center point means the cx and cy cx and cy is if it is inside the area then we match our condition we will increase the counter occupied zones plus is equal to 1 and then we will simply minus these occupied zones from the total zones how many polygon do we have minus the occupied zones then we will get the free free zone simple it is really easy so now we have occupied zone 1 so at it means the free zone is basically 11 now again as you can see it is time lapse video so it will get the idea that this is the perfect method for real time parking zone uh, counting free space and occupied space because we have powerful object detection method which is the yolo as you can see now we have one two three four 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 free zone four free zone and occupied space eight one two three four five six seven eight as you can see simple so this is our friends with the help of yolo v8 or let's just say any yolo version you can create real-time parking zone solution i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye